How to be combat effective after dark. All right, guys, welcome back to the 307 Project range. We are out here getting ready to do a little shooting today, and I figured why not pause and have a conversation about the differences between thermal optics and night vision. Uh, I guess, first of all, we should decide why is it even important to be able to operate at night? Well, uh, if you haven't already determined, it's a game changer. If you can be combat effective at night, either via night vision or thermal, it's a total game changer. Um, it allows you to operate when no one else can see you, which is probably the biggest possible advantage that you can have over your enemy. Uh, so there are tremendous differences between these two options in terms of how do we see at night. Um, we'll talk about, let's talk about night vision first. As you can see, this is a night vision setup, okay? This is gonna be our thermal, this is night vision. Um, now, night vision, when would I run this setup? What would be the primary use of this? Uh, night vision being our NVGs, night vision goggles attached to an ops core helmet. Uh, these NVGs are NVG 50s made by, I think AGM, I think is the manufacturer on these. And then this is the IR aiming device. Um, this is made by Steiner. It's, D, it's a D-Ball TAC D2, so D-B-A-L TAC D2. So these two things are made to work in conjunction together. When would I use these? I would use these in a more urban environment, all right? If I am going to be making entry into buildings, uh, clearing through a structure, um, patrolling down roadways, streets. Uh, so in town is when night vision has the biggest advantage. Um, let's talk about why night vision is so much more advantageous in that urban environment than say a thermal optic. Uh, well, when you pair these NVGs with this laser aiming device, this IR laser, uh, not only can you take accurate shots, uh, but you can also utilize this laser to communicate with other team members that are out on the battlefield, all right? So this laser, as much as it is a aiming device, it is also a device to be able to uh, communicate to other people, other team members out on the battlefield. Uh, people wonder how uh, a, say a SEAL platoon can clear through an entire structure at night in the dark without ever saying a word. It's because of this right here and these MVGs. Uh, we can talk with these, right? Uh, we can hold on threats. Um, we can make certain motions to uh, portray whatever the message needs to be by using these two tools in conjunction. Um, so anytime I'm in an urban environment, anytime I'm working with other people uh, trying, to, trying to assault a, a building or, or a town or whatever it would be, uh, this is always going to be the most advantageous way to go. Um, another thing with night vision, goggles, obviously, MVGs, if we are patrolling, if we're moving to a target uh, at night, we're going to be able to see where we're going, right? We're going to have these MVGs on the entire time, and we're not going to utilize this laser aiming device until we need to take shots or we need to communicate some message without talking to someone else on NVGs. You cannot see this IR laser unless you have NVGs. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. I hope you do, but um, anyways, a uh, big advantage to this also, this has a big illuminator on it, this particular uh, IR laser aiming device. So it's a laser and it also has an illuminator. So, uh, illuminator. so what that illuminator does is like a big IR flashlight. So if you guys are doing CQC or something in a house at night, uh, a lot of times when there's not a lot of ambient light, these night vision goggles are not going to work very well. Uh, you're not going to be able to see into dark corners. You're not going to be able to see a lot of detail. With this illuminator on this laser aiming device, you can actually, it's like having a flashlight, right? So you can cast IR light into dark spaces and you can light them up and be able to see much better with your NVGs. 
it's a great setup. Um, again, uh, it seems like why would you go with anything other than, than the, the night vision with the IR laser aiming device? Well, that moves us into thermal. What's the advantage of the thermal? When would I use the thermal optic? The thermal optic, for me, I, I believe the best use would be for an overwatch position, uh, for a sniper position. Um, when you're using this thermal, say we were in that urban environment, I would hand this weapon to someone and place them in an overwatch on a rooftop or something like that, and I would have them scanning with this thermal. You cannot hide from the thermal, all right? We talked about how in low light conditions, not a lot of ambient light, not a lot of moonlight, uh, these MVGs are pretty tough to see much detail or see much distance out of. This thermal, it's gonna work in the pitch dark, right? Because the thermal is picking up a heat signature. Also, the thermal, you can use it in the day or night. Night vision, you can only use it at night. The thermal is actually uh, an effective way to, to sight and take shots day or night. It's gonna pick up that heat signature whether it's dark or daytime. Uh, so that's another big advantage of it. Um, you can't obviously patrol with this, right? So if you are making movement at night, you're not gonna make movement while you're looking through this scope the entire time. So that's kind of a disadvantage uh, if this is all that you had. But man, in a hunting situation, in an overwatch position, um, the thermal is going to be where it would go. If let's, let's say if I was going out hunting, right? I would 100% take the thermal versus the night vision goggles and the IR laser aiming device. So uh, thermal's got a lot, a lot of advantages, some disadvantages. Um, one thing with the thermal, this is a dedic this weapon that I have here with the thermal mounted on, this is dedicated just for this thermal scope. Um, if you have a thermal, you do want to go ahead and mount another optic, like, uh, you know, kind of canted out of the way onto your rifle because if whoever had this weapon, if they needed to move into a structure, uh, if they, whatever, they needed to move into a CQC or close quarters combat scenario, they're not gonna be taking shots through this thermal scope, all right? These are for nice, deliberate, uh, slow, long shots. So with this extra little red dot right here, I can just cant the weapon and I can use this rifle for in a CQC scenario as well as using it with the thermal optic. Um, you see I have kind of the same deal going on here with my uh, night vision setup. We've got our IR laser aiming device, but we also have our red dot um, so that the weapon is good day or night or uh, if you don't need to use night vision, say the lights come on and you need to flip your nods up, you would then transition to the red dot. A couple lessons learned with these. By the way, this thermal is made by Trigicon. This is called an IR Hunter made by Trigicon. Both of these setups, uh, you get what you pay for, man. If you get a cheap uh, thermal scope, you're gonna get a cheap thermal scope. You're gonna get a real grainy image. You're not gonna have a, a lot of range with it. You're not gonna see a lot of distance. Likewise, it's the same with NVGs. If you buy a cheap set of NVGs, you're just not gonna get that quality of picture that you're gonna get out of getting at least a mid-range set. I would say plan on spending five to six grand on a set of NVGs, at least a set that's gonna be good enough uh, to actually utilize. And same on the thermal. You're gonna talk about spending five to seven grand on a good thermal scope. Um, don't ever leave batteries in these things, all right? These CR123 batteries that all these night vision optics take, they're expensive and if you leave the battery in the optic and you throw it in your, your safe or wherever you're storing the weapon, um, it will actually drain the battery. So never leave batteries in these things. Um, try not to, I, I mean, I take care of these. Obviously they're a big investment. Try not to leave them out in the hot car all day, um, stuff like that. So just, you have to generally be prepared to take care of them because they are big investments. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope that gives you guys some more information on how these can be utilized and helps you make a decision on whether you wanna go with a thermal optic or a night vision setup. Again, if I'm hunting, if I'm overwatch, if I'm in some static position, 
Uh, I am going to take this thermal all day long, coyote hunting, hog hunting, whatever it is. You can't hide from it. It's picking up that heat signature. Uh, it's just great to take nice long shots with. Night vision is going to be more of a complex scenario where you're in an urban environment, close quarters combat, whatever it may be. Understand that your night vision goggles must be paired with a laser aiming device in order for it to be combat effective essentially. You're not trying to look down a sight with your night vision. All right, so everybody always asks me what this big box is on top of this weapon and um, that's what it is, uh, a laser and an illuminator. Uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much in a nutshell what the difference is between the two and how they're used. Uh, again, I highly recommend the Trigicon IR Hunter. Um, this laser has been great by Steiner. Uh, these nods, let me get the manufacturer on these nods real quick. Just, yeah, AGM, NVG 50s. They've been great nods. They're on a Wilcox mount on an OpsCore helmet. Uh, that's another thing, difference between the two. You talk about price point. Your night vision setup, this is going to be a, a bigger investment than just going with a thermal scope, all right? By the time you buy your helmet, your nods mount, your NVGs, and your laser aiming device, you're gonna have more money in this setup right here than this setup. Um, as far as distance on these nods, I wanna hit that real quick. Everybody asks, well, how far can you see with your nods when you're walking around at night? Again, a lot of that depends on ambient light. Uh, a lot of it depends on the quality of nods that you buy, but just go ahead and figure about 100 to 150 meters you're gonna be able to see that far and at least see movement, right? You're not gonna see a lot of detail on what you're looking at, but you're at least gonna be able to see that far. Your laser's gonna reach way beyond that distance, right? But to be able to see detail and at least know what you're shooting at, you get out past 100 meters or so with these night vision goggles, and it just is just too grainy to tell exactly what it is. That's another beautiful thing about thermal. Again, in that overwatch position, you get a lot more detail and target ID with the thermal than you would get on a set of nods. So get out there um, and uh, get you some night vision or get you a thermal scope. It's a game changer. It opens, it opens your capabilities up. It expands them, I mean, infinitely versus somebody who doesn't have the ability to operate at night. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Enough said.